thermal temperature iography picture. And so it's testing the seven bones of the neck, with the top ones being the most important. The upper cervicals, atlas and axis, were discussed differently because there's no disc between them, so they're very movable. And they're very close to the brain stem, so they're very important as cranial nerves start there. So we start down at the top of uh, T1, and then we go up to occiput, so we get all seven cervical vertebra in the picture and it's taking a temperature reading on both sides and they should be about the same if the person doesn't have what we call a subluxation. If it goes to the left it gets colder, if it goes to the right it gets hotter and you can see at the very end there it's what's called a break. It's going off to the right at Atlas C1, the top cervical vertebra, one that holds the head up and then you can change the screen so you get a color picture that's easier for the patient to understand. So it's a moderate problem on Atlas on the right. I consider orange severe because I very rarely see red with a small problem at the bottom, but rarely do we adjust the bottom one. And then we compare that to the old one, the pattern, to see what has changed and what's the same. So there's still one that's yellow. It was orange before. So I'm gonna recheck it. There's not many chiropractors that do post graphs, so it's a good way to know whether you found the right one or not. Let yeah. me do post checking. Very few do. Thermograph, right? Yeah. There's different there's different kinds.